Hello everyone, welcome to What If Issei Was Neglected and Becomes the God of Creation and Destruction Part 2. Before we start please go support Ethan 1939 for writing that awesome fanfic, now let's begin. This is the translated version I made, there will be some wrong he or she calling here because it's translated so let me clear this essay as a male in this story. Part 7 Little by Little. The day was a beautiful day, and we see a white-haired man eat his lunch, but in a somewhat uncomfortable way for him. Rias. Come on I say ah feeding essay in his mouth. Issei. Rias, what are you doing? Somewhat uncomfortable. Rias. What? I just want to feed you with a tender smile why don't you like it? Issei. That's not it, it's just that feeling the looks of hatred towards him from the boys who saw them, I think we attracted a lot of attention. Since the battle against Razor, Riaz has become very attached to Issei for some reason, she also spends time next to him, and more than once Issei woke up with her naked sleeping on her chest. The boy didn't dislike him in fact he liked him a little, but always when he did that he fought with Yui and Lin, because they said they were the only ones who could sleep with his master. The Haidu sisters were the same, they saw that with a vein in their neck. The Zara. But you because she is so attached to my Oni Chan. With a smile but with a terrifying aura and bending a cutlery from the force she applied to it, Riaz. What? I just want to get closer to my future husband with a victorious smile at the other girls, why does she bother you? With an arrogant smile, Azara. Me as you think, it's not that I feel like gutting you and hanging you from the ceiling with your nails, while breaking a part of the table by force, Kaneko. Senpai say ah feeding him in the mouth, they say. Thank you Kaneko eating what the lowly gave her is good, Kaneko. Thank you, I prepared it with a small blush. The others, seeing that, only saw the lowly wanting to kill her. And Issei's brother just laughed at his situation with Kiba and Gasper who was eating tranquilo. I'm skip a cult club, Issei. Now why are we here Ria's somewhat boring, Ria's. Don't worry, my Ani Sama said that she would give us an important warning. In a moment a magic circle appeared showing Serzich's next to Grafia. Serzich's. Hello Ria's happy, Ria's. Hello Ani Sama, why are you so happy? Serzich's. Well, I come to give you two important announcements sitting down the first is that the factions and I will give a special banquet and you are all invited surprising everyone, Rias. Seriously. Serzichas. Yes, it will be in the underworld and looking at Issei we would like you to go. Issei. And why me? Serzichas. Well you are my little sister's husband and you have to be with her he said almost laughing when he remembered that they were husbands and also gods and important clans will go, so since you are basically a god we obviously had to invite you. Issei. Sighing fine, but I hope no one bothers me they're disinterested, Serzichas. Good and the second announcement is that we will sell to the school to see that he said surprising everyone even more, the Zara. And that, Serzichas. Well the school gave a report that tomorrow is the day when parents come to see their children at school happy and seeing Ria's face mom and dad are very excited to come see you little sister endured laughing at his sister, Ria's. You have to be kidding they can't come and if you're not a Mayu you must have more important things to do trying to convince him not to go, Serzichas. Yes maybe, but I wouldn't miss seeing my little sister what she is like in class about to burst out laughing well, that was all we don't see disappearing in a magic circle quickly to charge somewhere else, Rias. This can't be true with her head stuck to the desk my parents and brother watching me all day of school and recording me or taking photos of me while turning red from embarrassment how embarrassing. The came. Yes, I'm sure mom and dad will spend a lot of time recording every detail of the day. Sarah and taking our photos while just thinking about it made her embarrassed. Everyone was talking about it, but a certain white-haired man is looking at the ground with a lost look. But he was brought out of his thoughts by a blonde. Asia. Issei-san, are you okay? Concerned by the boy's look, Issei. He. If I'm just tired, I better go to the patio leaving the club quickly. When he left he left everyone confused except his brothers. The Keno. What's wrong? Confused. Azara. He always gets like this this day catching everyone's attention. Zenovia. Has it happened already? The came? Yes, he gets more depressed than normal that day. Arena. And why? The Zara. You don't remember this day your parents come to see you, but in Issei's case our parents always ignored him or simply denied his existence. Getting sad to remember that and the only thing that cheered him up that day well tell us that it will never cheer him up again looking askance at Yuri, and he is alone under his head sadly. Asia. And can't we do something? You. I doubt all of us will be in class, and I doubt my brother will want to see our parents or even talk to them. The entire room was silent and thinking of a solution to cheer up the albino, but no one came up with anything, and they just decided to try to cheer him up on the way out. But they say, the boy just walked through the hallways with a worried blank look at certain swords and girls who were in trouble. Bui. His master okay. Worried about her master, Lin. Yes, master, he looks sad. They say. I'm fine I just need to think a little about tomorrow. That didn't convince the girls at all, but they decided to just keep quiet. 
Time skip is says house night. The albino was having dinner while he was just thinking about how to survive tomorrow. The boy didn't want to go, but he knew that if Sona didn't go he would give him away or punish him with something. The boy just resigned himself and went to sleep, but two girls were talking while he slept. Lin. I don't like seeing the master sad, Yui. Yes but what can we do? Both girls thought for a while until Yui got an idea. Yui. I think I have an idea. Time skip. Issei got up totally discouraged and took a bath and glass for school, but when he went down to the kitchen, he smelled something delicious and saw Yui and Lin with only an apron on. Yui. Good morning master said happily. Lin. Do you want to have breakfast? Issei. Girls, what are you doing? A little surprised since he had to admit that both girls were beautiful, and even more so in that apron. Yui. We just wanted to prepare breakfast for you happy. Issei. Thank you I guess eating the girl's breakfast it's very good while he ate more. When Issei finished eating he only looked at the time and saw that there was half an hour before classes started. Issei. Well, it's time to go getting up from the table. Yui. I'm sorry, master, we can't go with you today surprising Issei we have a surprise and we don't want it to be ruined while well, pushing Issei out of the house well, have a good day, master, goodbye closing the door. Issei only became even more depressed and just started walking towards the school. Time skip. Issei just walked completely discouraged as he saw other boys talking to his parents and walking towards school. But some people were gossiping about our albino. Girl. Poor Issei, his parents didn't come with him while she saw the boy downcast. Mother. Daughter, what's happening seeing her daughter why does that boy come alone? Girl. It's just that his parents abandoned him when he was seven. I feel bad for him. It must be hard for him to even come today. Mother. Poor boy looking at him with sadness. Those comments only made the albino sadder, but he just tried to ignore their comments. Time skip Kuo Academy. Issei was lying on his desk waiting for the day to end once and for all. Teacher. Well students, many of your parents came to see you today, so come in when saying that many parents entered the classroom, but among all of them a couple very similar to the albino's brothers saw each other, and Issei quickly recognized them. The white-haired man's sisters only worried about their brother who just went to sleep, but in his eyes, they saw that emptiness that cost them so much to remove from them. Teacher. Well, it's time to start class he didn't finish as the door opened abruptly showing two girls. Sorry for interrupting you professor, we only came to see one of his students. Issei received that voice and when he turned his eyes widened a little since Yui and Lin were there in school uniforms, pretending to be students from another school. All the men who saw them thought they were beautiful, even some parents were surprised by how beautiful the girls were. Teacher. Excuse me, ladies, but who are you? Yui. We are Issei Haidu's girlfriends and we came to see him today with a smile. Everyone was surprised when they heard that. The boys just wanted to dismember the albino, but their sisters and friends from the club knew that they were a farce, so that Issei wouldn't get depressed today. But a couple of adults just saw their son surprised to see that they had such beautiful girlfriends. Issei. Yui, Lin, what are you doing here? Yui. What did you think we would forget today approaching the boy, Lin? Yes, am I mean Issei-kun, this day is very important for us, and we were not going to miss it with a smile, Yui. Yes, what kind of girlfriends would we be if we didn't see what our cute boyfriend was like in class with a tender smile? Issei just let out a small tear and hugged them both. Issei. Whispering thank you girls. They only hugged back, and everyone who saw the three just thought it was a very nice scene, but an albino was a little sad because they weren't even the ones who would cheer up Issei. After that scene classes started and the parents only took photos of their children, and for some reason Yui and Lin did too. Time skip lunch. After ringing the bell the parents went to another place to socialize with each other and the students to eat. Yui. Come on Ice Kun say ah trying to feed him. Lin. Yes Issei Kun say ah also feeding him. The boy only happily ate their food while all the men in the dining room were about to throw themselves at Issei. Bizarre. Yee what do they think they do annoyed? Rias. Yes, that was what I was going to be annoyed. Yui. What a shame but we are master's girlfriends today, so stay close to him hugging his right arm. Lin. Yes alleged hugging his left arm. The albino sisters and Rias had a staring duel with Yui and Lin, well they just ignored what she saw, but she felt happy being with both girls hugging her arms. After that scene the bell rang, signaling that she had to go back to class. Time skip classes, teacher. Well today we have this showing everyone some small balls of clay, so that you can create a small sculpture or whatever you can distributing the clay. Issei only closed his eyes when he took the clay. His hands moved on their own, and everyone around was surprised by what she had thrown out. Issei Val opened his eyes and could see a small sculpture of him with his battle suit, but next to him were Yui and Lin with their usual dresses, and that surprised everyone. Teacher. Wow what a great imagination you have Haidu san looking at the sculpture. Everyone was surprised, but the girls were very happy to see that they were also in that sculpture.
Time skip. After that painful scene for some boys and girls, the teachers took all the students and parents to the school theater so they could give a small talent contest. Everything was going well, some kids had interesting talents, and some were just a little sad, but there was no shortage of laughter until the student council president made a small announcement. Sona. Well, thank you to all the parents who came today, and before you leave we want to close this with a small presentation from one of the best students of this school, can Issei Haidu come up to the stage. A spotlight was placed on Issei, letting him see clearly. Issei just resigned himself to everyone's attentive gaze, but Yui and Lin gave them their support. The boy just went up and Sona spoke. Sona. Well now Issei Haidu is going to dazzle us with a beautiful song, okay? Seeing Issei. Issei. Whispering Sona-san, what are you doing? Sona. Whispering what do you think? I just want you to finish this very special event with one of your songs giving him a smile, and several instruments came out from behind both of them so that Issei can play. Issei was nervous, but then he saw both girls who have accompanied him all day today, and when he saw their smiles he was encouraged, he took a guitar and started playing. Issei only played with his heart and loved one person who was surprised by the boy's beautiful voice, but the most surprised were a couple who thought Issei couldn't do it. When I finished playing, more than one girl had a blush and some are crying because of the beautiful song. Sona. Well, I hope that Alan enjoyed today and that Alan had fun and thank you very much for coming with a smile and a little blush when he saw Issei. Time skip. After a while Issei was walking home with Yui and Lin while they hugged his arms. Issei. Girls stopping and calling both of their attention thank you very much for everything you did for me today with a small smile and releasing some tears, I really appreciated hugging both of them. Yui. We already told you, love, you were very important to us returning the hug. Lin. Yes, love, we love him very much hugging him. Issei broke away from the hug after a few seconds. Issei. Well let's go home. Both girls just sat down and walked home hugging the boy. Time skip Issei's house night. Issei was sleeping hugging both girls while they slept on his chest. Lin. Yui. Yui. What's wrong Lin? Lin. I think it was a great idea to go to master's school today watching Issei while he sleeps with a smile. Yui. Yes, although we know that we cannot fix his heart overnight, at least we do it little by little stroking the albino's hair. Lin. Yes, good night Yui. Yui. Good night Lin. Both. And good night, love both giving Issei a kiss on the cheek and just unconsciously hugging both of them. The three of them only slept in each other's arms that night and they both slept peacefully, knowing that their master would no longer be depressed or at least not as depressed as before. Part 8 Celebration Today we can see our beloved protagonist looking out the window of a train, but not just any train, a magical train that heads to the underworld. Azara. What's wrong Oni-chan, are you not happy looking at his brother? Issei. The truth is I'm not interested in going to that celebration for the peace of the factions, something boring I would have preferred to spend these two weeks of vacation, that school gave us playing video games and eating pizza he said normally. Rias. You know pizza has a lot of fat for the body scolding Issei, and as your wife I don't approve of your food tastes. Issei. You know, I think I'll cancel and tell your parents once and for all that I'm not going to marry you while I continued looking out the window. Rias only got angry at what he said and just stood next to her and hugged him. Issei. What are you doing? While he looked at her. Rias. Giving you love and this pinching him. Issei. Ah what are you doing? Rias. That is no way to answer a woman, much less your wife turning her face and handing over her breasts, you have to be kind to others and give love to all the girls with a smile when hugging Issei. Issei only accepted the hug reluctantly, but what bothered him was that they were going to see Ria's parents, not that he has anything against them, but it makes him a little uncomfortable to even say the word parents, since he didn't have one. Good reference from them. But Issei was taken out of his thoughts by a sadistic black-haired woman. Ikeno. Ara, Ara but you, don't keep it just for yourself removing Issei's face from Rhea's breasts and putting it on hers, he wants everyone's love, right? The came. No Oni-chan is ours. Sarah. Yes putting Issei on her breasts. The girls were just arguing while a certain fallen angel watched them. Azizel. Tsck lucky boy while well, he drank a glass of champagne and you guys don't even mind. Looking at you, Kiba and Gasper. You. I already have a girlfriend. Kiba. I like someone else. Gasper. Bother what? said innocently. The fight calmed down as Issei escaped from between the girls' breasts and started drinking a little with Azazel, and the boys and girls were just in a part separated from the others, whispering things about a specific topic. Azara. Whispering well, it's time to put the recovery plan into action. Rias. Yes, we all have to follow Drag's plan to the letter, yes. All. Hi. Flashback. Drag. I think I have a plan. Azara. Seriously. Drag. Of course the Reed's brother didn't tell them that they would have a banquet to celebrate peace between the factions. Rias. Yes, but what do they have to do with it? Greg. 
you just have to approach a say little by little and subtly, and since they are on vacation, you have a good opportunity to get close to him. Akeno. It's a good plan. Greg. But they have to think of good excuses so as not to look like they're just trying to seduce him. All. Hi. And flashback. They were all thinking of excuses and plans to get closer to the albino while he alone drank with Azazel. Issei. And how is life going for you, Crow? Azazel. Will you never call me by my name? Looking at Issei. Issei. Not until you were in my respect drinking. Azazel. Sigh well, not as well as you, it seems that you have many suitors looking at Issei with mockery. Issei. Haha well you're right seeing the girls with a small smile. Since taking your parents to class, Issei has been a little more attached to Yui and Lin, and a little also to the other girls. You. You know you're underage to drink right? Sitting next to his brother. Issei. And you know you're annoying, right? You. Touch pouring a drink for him. Kiba. I want to sitting down. Asper. And me cheerful. Yui. I'm sorry Gasper, but you're too young to drink looking in a small fridge at the bar, but here's some ice cream giving him an ice cream. Asper. Better taking the ice cream. The boys just talked a little until they felt turbulence. Rias. What was that? Issei. I don't know but at one point everyone moved like crazy and they were transported to some strange mountains. Issei. Where are we? Looking around. Asia. I don't know, but neither Akeno nor Rias is there worried. At one point a huge purple dragon was seen and roared at the boys who just prepared to fight. Issei. Guys run, I'll take care of it Desenbe no to Yui. Issei in a moment ran and climbed the body of the huge dragon, starting to stab the dragon arms. The dragon only felt small cuts, but still began to complain about them, then he took Issei and threw him towards a mountain which was destroyed upon impact with the albino. When everyone saw that, they were scared and worried about the boy and began to attack, but the dragon didn't even flinch as he attacked them, stomping hard on the ground, which drove everyone away and stunned them. At that the dragon was going to throw a punch towards his brothers and sisters, but his hand was cut off and separated from his arm by a slash of black fire, and the dragon only roared in pain. At that moment you could feel the tremendous power of destruction coming from the mountain where Issei was thrown from, and you could see how the albino came out of the smoke. Issei. Okay dragon, now it's my turn with a somewhat sadistic smile. Issei singled out Lin as well, and covered both of them in black and white fire. Issei created thousands of swords made of light and threw them at the dragon's right arm, leaving the arm useless, and gave thousands of cuts that little by little were destroying the dragon's left arm and also gave cuts to the legs, causing it to fall to the ground, bleeding it slowly. Little by little, but before finishing the work he was stopped by the voice of a certain crow. Azazel. Enough showing Azazel, Riaz and his queen flying in a magic circle watching the battle. Asia. Riaz on Asama leaving to hug the Retid. Issei. I hope you have a good explanation for this, Crow seeing him a little irritated. Azazel. V you see this was a test surprising everyone it was to test his strength and see his limits, but I think we got too carried away, I'm sorry Tannen seeing the dying dragon. Tannen. Don't worry, there is no more honor for a dragon than to die in battle he said weakly. Issei just snorted a little, and a white fire came out of his left arm and covered the entire body of the dragon and his dismembered hand, uniting it and healing all of his wounds. Everyone was shocked by that, and then the dragon stood up as if nothing had happened. Tannen. What did you do surprised moving the hand that was previously separated from his body? Issei. I just healed you a little without interest and seeing it, I don't want to have your death on my conscience, and even less if it was just a practice. Everyone was surprised and Tannen just knelt before the white-haired man and thanked him for what he said. Tannen. Thank you Shinigami-sama down on my knees. Issei upon hearing that just looked at Azazel. Issei. Did you tell him about me? Looking at him seriously. Azazel. I only mentioned you, and when I told him that you were the descendant of the god of the bible and the first demon king he offered to take the test he said a little nervous because of the boy's look. Azara. But you, did you know about this? Rias. Yes, Azazel will inform me. Sarah. And why is Akeno also with you? Akeno. I heard their conversation and I couldn't contain myself from watching everyone fight with a blush and a sadistic smile. Rias. Well, come, my parents' house is a minute away from here taking out her wings. Everyone took out their wings and started to fly, but they saw that Issei stayed still. Asia. Issei-san, what's wrong? Issei. I just don't want to take out my wings nervous, they draw a lot of attention. Azara. Come on, Oni-chan, nothing's wrong with a smile. You. If we go brother it's not a big deal, we only have to fly one meter. Issei just calmed down a little and took out his wings, drawing everyone's attention to the color of his wings and the divine power that they gave off. Azazel. His power is incredible astonished. Asia. Issei sans wings are beautiful, he is like an angel seeing his wings. Akeno. But she is also like a fallen one, but at the same time not impressed by his wings. Tiba. And the power it gives off easily surpasses us. Sarah. 
Oni Chan is very cool, said like a little girl. Issei just started flying, and every time for some reason, some birds joined him in the flight. I'm Skip Grimmery Mansion, Issei. Wow, it's huge in front of Issei. There was a huge mansion. Demons really like luxuries, seeing the huge mansion. Azazel. Yes, they love having many luxuries. But then a woman very similar to Rhea's with brown hair appeared next to Serzich's and a red haired man when she sensed Issei's power. Ara, Ara, but it's my pretty Rhea seeing her daughter, so you were the one who scared my husband and Serzich's seeing Issei and her wings. Issei realized that she still had her wings out and quickly put them away. Issei. Sorry, I don't control my aura when I have my wings out. Nice, you must be my daughter's husband. I saw you when you fought with Razor shaking his hand I'm Venelana Grimmery, nice. Issei only saw her a little nervous and returned her greeting. Issei. It's a pleasure, I'm Issei Hayuadu taking her hand and kissing her wrist, it's a pleasure to meet you. Venelana only blushed at the boy's gesture, but she saw how he was nervous and trembling a little. Venelana. You don't have to be so formal, you can call me Okasan, and he is my husband. It's a pleasure, I'm Ziodicus Grimmery shaking her hand. Serzichas. Well, you scared us, we thought they were some kind of fleet of angels and demons somewhat nervous. Ziodicus. Yes, but I have to admit that your powers easily surpass those of the mass looking at Issei. You are the one who calmed down king and god of the world. Issei. Well, but was interrupted by two swords. Do we know Mr. Grimmery my master not only said he was, he is. At that moment both swords took on their human form. Yui. My pleasure, I am Yui, I am my master's sword and companion bowing, Lin. And I am Lin, also sword and companion of my master Issei bowing. The Grimmery spouses were only surprised and greeted. Then Alana. Ara, what a surprise, it's also a pleasure to meet you waving happily. Ziodicus. Nice to meet you, but who are you? Both. We are the creations of the god of the bible and the first demon king Yui and Lin, making a somewhat cute pose. That surprised the Grimmery couple. Yui. And like I said, my master is the new god of the whole world, since he has the powers of the god of the bible and the demon king I was happy. Ziodicus. So you are a. Lin. Yes a god. They both just stayed analyzing and then Ziodicus spoke. Ziodicus. Please marry daughter kneeling. That surprised everyone and brought a drop of sweat to Azazel and Serzich's. Issei. What? Confused. Ziodicus. You seem to be a good man and you are also a god, so why don't I marry you to my daughter taking Issei by the shoulders and making him walk into the house. Issei was only even more surprised the mansion looked bigger from the inside than from the outside. Ziodicus. Look holding a photo album of Rhea's how tender she is, and she grew up very pretty because you didn't she was stopped by his wife, who grabbed him by the collar of her shirt. Then Alana. Honey, please embarrass Rhea's looking at his daughter who was red with shame. Issei, and out of curiosity, why do you want me to marry his daughter sir? Confused. Ziodicus. Well nervous I want to have grandchildren. It just got everyone mad, and Azazel just laughed at Serzich's while they had a drink. Issei. Sorry what? Rhea's. Dad blushing as you drink. Ziodicus. You see, I want grandchildren so I can pamper them and love them. Then Alana. But you already have a grandson, Serzich's son. Ziodicus. Yes, but he is a pervert who spends his time with maids and playing video games, I want a grandson or granddaughter who, when he sees me, runs into my arms saying grandpa while crying when he had that fantasy. Then Alana. Sorry, old age must already be affecting you consoling her husband now, one day you will be able to fulfill that dream. Everyone in the room had a bead of sweat on the back of their neck from the scene they were watching. There he is. Don't worry, dad whispering, maybe one day we will have one blushing at the thought of having a child with Issei. Even though she was whispering, Ziodicus heard that clearly. Ziodicus. Really taking Issei by the neck. Issei. Lord suffocate me. After a while they calmed down, Azazel left the place, and the boys settled in their rooms, although Ziodicus insisted that Rias and Issei share a room, Boro was stopped by his mother's. Time skip, it was time to eat and everyone was ready. Then Alana. Daughter, is everyone ready yet? All. Hi. Then Alana. Good, but where is Issei? Doubtful for not seeing the boy. Azara. Oni Chan said he would take a nap. Then Alana. Well, go wake him up and tell him that the food is ready. Rias. Well, I'll go going to look for the albino. Rias only walked until she reached Issei's door, and when she opened it, he could see Issei without her shirt, showing her well marked abdomen that only made the redeed blush. Rias. God ouch with a small nosebleed and a bit of a headache for God's sake, it seems that not only is he perfect in his face walking until he is sitting on the edge of the albino's bed, he also has a great physique touching his eyes a little dot pecs, causing more and more blood in his nose, but then he saw how his sheets moved showing Yui and Lin who were naked lying on it, Yui. What are you doing Grimmery girl looking at how she touched to say ah, I understand you came to take advantage of the fact that he is sleeping to grope him looking at the redeed with a mischievous face, there he is. Iih of course not totally blushing. The small scream woke up Issei who saw the three of them together and Yui and Lin naked. Issei. 
Girls, I already told you not to sleep naked, here we are in a house other than ours scolding both of them, and why are you touching me? Seeing that Riaz had her hands on his chest, Riaz. W well I just wanted to wake you up so you could come eat so goodbye blushing and rushing out of the room, I say. We better go down looking at the girls in the dining room, Riaz came down with a huge blush and murmuring about something that was perfect. At that point, Issei went down to eat while everyone saw him because he had a somewhat small shirt that showed off his well-toned body, making the women blush. After a few minutes he started a small talk about how they were doing at school which reached Issei. Then Alana. Well, Issei-kun, how is school going for you? Issei. Good he said while eating. Then Alana. Come on, don't be so dry, tell us in detail what you were like before you met my beautiful Riaz. Issei. Well, at my school I was beaten for thinking that I was a traitor who sold information to other schools, my parents abandoned me when I was seven, and my girlfriend cheated on me with others, while I was tortured by my classmates he said seriously and cold, that alone caused a tremendous silence in the room and an albino as he remembered what he did alone under his repentant head. Then Alana. I, I see somewhat sad for the boy, and how is he doing now? Nervous, I say. Not so bad, they cleared my name by discovering the real traitor, my life became a little more interesting when I became a god, and they don't beat me anymore, eating so I guess it's good he said coldly. Another awkward silence was present, but Issei's brother broke it. You. Brother, I want to ask you something standing up, Issei. And that's it. You. I want you to train me surprised everyone you are much better with a sword than me or Kiba, so I want you to teach me bound please. That only made Issei smile a little. Issei. Fine but I won't be nice to you, if you have to learn you will do it the hard way. Kiba. Me too getting up, Asia. And me. Zenovia. And me. Everyone got up and only Issei smiled at that. Issei. Okay but it will be tomorrow morning okay. All. Hi. Then Alana only smiled for the moment and saw that although Issei had suffered a lot there, he was fond of the others. Zeoticus. Good because they are not going to sleep together daughter with a smile. Rias. Dad blushing and making Serzich's laugh. Issei. It seems like my days are getting more and more complicated, but this will be entertaining. Celebration Part 2. We can see the entire Grimmery entourage at a training ground waiting for a certain albino. Ew. Where the hell is Issei? We already waited two hours for him to appear and he hasn't arrived angry, Gibba. I don't know but he must have his reasons. Ew. My reasons, leggings, he sure fell asleep. At that moment Issei could be seen walking towards them sleepily and with a bored face. Issei. Good morning sleepy. Azara. You'll say afternoons, it's already 1.30, and you told us that we would start at 11 irritated, I say. Sorry, a black cat crossed my path, and I had to go around the path giving an excuse, there he is. In the mansion. I say. Yes he said simply, everyone was angry with the boy because he didn't get up early and he couldn't sleep. I say. Well, those who will face me as Kiba, you, Zenovia, Azara, Akeem, Yuri and Sarah said that took a step forward well then prepare yourselves. Everyone was ready to fight and Akeno was the referee. Akeno. Well start. Hearing the start of the battle, Yu only saw a katana appear in his hand and began to attack Issei. He was katana. Issei only easily dodged the thrusts and cuts of his brother and dodged another cut from Kiba. Issei. They lack skill and imagination when fighting. Issei only took Kiba's sword with his bare hand and stopped Yu's slash with it. Those who saw were amazed by Issei's ability, who only dodged and stopped both of their cuts with his own swords. Zenovia didn't stay still either and started attacking Issei, but hers simply avoided her, Issei got tired of playing with her friends, and the real training began. Issei. Well first rule, never fight among yourselves. Issei just jumped and let a blow from Zenovia's sword hit Kiba, Kiba hit Yu and Yu hit Zenovia. Issei. Second rule, be the most astute in the place. Issei took Zenovia's sword by the edge and let the handle of the sword hit the blue net in the forehead, stunning her. Issei just punched the girl in the stomach, knocking her out. Issei saw Kiba and Yui barely getting themselves together, but Issei stopped Yuri's arrow of light with his hand. Note. Yuri's sacred gear is to create a bow and arrows of light that damage his enemies equal to the spears of the fallen. After that he only dodged a blow from the twins that were going to his body and face. Issei. Well, rule number three, you must be faster and stronger when fighting or finding a weakness in the enemy. Issei stood in the middle of the twins, and both of them, realizing it, could only launch a fire and water attack that he avoided, creating a smoke screen that caused the attacks to collide. Issei through the smoke only gave them both a light blow to the neck that knocked them out. When the smoke cleared they saw the girls on the ground unconscious, and Yuri only fired more arrows that Issei dodged with ease. Issei. Rule number 4, never get overconfident and look around you. Yuri at that moment was taken by her legs by some black whips that came out of her own shadow, and he only took her by the neck, choking her until she was unconscious, the only ones left of her were Azara, Kiba and Yu. The boys were nervous, especially knowing that he had not even used his swords. 
Issei singled out Yui and began attacking both swordsmen, making cuts all over their bodies. Issei. And rule number 5 you always have to have an ace up your sleeve. Issei just crossed at full speed between both boys sheathing his sword, and when he clicked both of their swords broke, and they both had cuts that they didn't have before, surprising everyone with their speed. You. Impossible, my katana is almost was interrupted, Issei. Exactly, almost indestructible looking at both of them, I just had to use some force and it broke, your sword is just as strong as the one who wields it. They both fell unconscious but was attacked by Azara. Issei. Only you remain one Chan with a cold look. Azara tensed up when she saw her brother's look, but she only attacked Issei trying to hit him, Issei only easily dodged her sister's attacks, until she got tired and got serious. Azara. Well then balance break. When she shouted, a red armor appeared next to a great dragon aura that surprised the boys due to the power of Rhea's and Azara's pawn. Issei didn't flinch at all, he just congratulated her sister on the level she had of her. Issei. Well done Azara, your power increased a lot, I would even say that you can fight hand to hand with Valerie, but with me it is something else. Issei in the blink of an eye appeared behind Azara and left a cut on his helmet that destroyed it, surprising the girl. Azara just launched an attack, but Issei just dodged her weakly until she heard Dreg increase her power. Dreg. Boost, 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 boost. Azara only increased her speed and strength, making the albino retreat a little and being able to hit the boy's chest. The others only saw Issei retreat as she continued to increase. Dreg. Boost x10. At that she was able to land another blow on Issei's face, sending him flying against a wall. Everyone watched as Issei was hit and Azara had a smile of victory, but that smile faded when she saw Issei suddenly next to her and giving her a blow to the chest that destroyed her armor. Issei. What? Maybe you didn't see it coming with a smile. Azara just stood up in pain and formed her armor again. Azara. Well then I'll go with everyone forming a red sphere. Dreg. Boost x30. Azara only threw the sphere, at that Issei covered his right arm with fire and only hit the sphere, returning it, the red ball only grazed part of the helmet of the armor, destroying it, and in a few seconds the sphere explodes one kilometer away, making the strong shock wave felt. Dot. Azara only fell to her knees as she strained her body and her armor disappeared. Then music, Issei. It was a good battle, you just need to learn and improve a little more, and I'm sure that one day you will be able to fight me extending her hand to help her get up. They only accepted the gesture, but could not move from exhaustion and essay, upon realizing her, could only carry her like a princess and take her to the others while she blushed. Time skip. After a while everyone was somewhat discouraged at losing the battle. Essay. Well I'll be frank with you drawing everyone's attention you are pathetic. That only discouraged others more. Essay. But that will soon change because I will help them that surprised everyone now they are weak, but with a little training they will be able to improve. Azara. Really Oni-chan. Issei. Yes, I will help them and you too by showing the others that they did not participate in the battle. Rias. Us. Issei. Of course you can't leave all the work to your pieces while you relax, you will also train. Asia. And me too, Issei-san. Issei. Yes everyone, I have a special training for you, well I will start with you pointing to Asia and Yuri, you use light as magic like me, but you use it in a bad way, but here we will not train come taking out his wings and starting to fly too, the girls just followed him and the others just stayed resting. Time skip forest. The boys arrived and Issei just began to explain the training they would have. Issei. Well, each one will have different training, Asia, you will have to learn to better control your sacred gear and learn attack magic so as not to be dead weight in battle. Asia. And how do I do that? Issei. Well, just imagine a small flame in your hand. Asia concentrated and after a few minutes she was able to do it. Asia. I made it looking at the small flame he was holding. Issei. Well now throw it at a tree. So I just do it by creating a small hole in the tree I throw it at. Asia. Incredible, but how could I achieve that? I thought I could only cure confused. Issei. You are a witch, I assume that you should have good magical control of some elements, but for the first time you do it, it was good stroking the blonde's head well done Asia. The Karija only made the blonde blush, but she was happy to know that she was not just a dead weight in battle. Yuri. And me. Somewhat jealous and stopping Issei's caresses. Issei. You create a bow and arrows of light, but in battle I could see how your magic escaped from the bow, so you will have to learn to form a defined shape for your bow so that doesn't happen. Yuri. Hi, Yuri turned her head to Issei so that he could caress her, and Issei did so reluctantly and ignoring the perverted look that Yuri had when he felt the boy's caresses. Time skip. After a few hours of training Asia was able to control air, fire and lightning to be able to defend herself, and Yuri was able to achieve and make her arrows faster and stronger and not lose magic when creating her bow. But in a moment she saw how she was breathing heavily from wear and tear. Issei. Asia, you don't have to try so hard. Asia. Don't worry, I'm fine breathing heavily. Issei only saw her for a moment, but she got an idea. 
They say. Asia, may I have your necklace taking a fly with a small red ruby it is very cute. Asia. Yes, Azar and the others gave it to me looking happily at the necklace. Issei only squeezed the necklace hard, breaking it and leaving Asia with a strange face, but then Issei used fire of creation, joining the broken canes and the ruby creating a small ring. Asia looked surprised, but in a moment she saw Issei placing the ring on her finger, and so when she saw him alone, she stayed still and blushed, but for a moment, she heard bells ringing as if they were at a wedding. Issei. Well this will be enough Issei only saw Asia blushing and whispering, I accept. Asia just came out of shock and asked. Asia. I say San what is this? Showing the ring blushes. I say. I turned the necklace into a ring that can store magic power touching the ruby, and a white glow got inside it ready, I put a little of my power inside, when you want to use it, you just have to concentrate a little magic on it. The ring. Asia. Thank you, Issei San, I will treasure it forever looking at the ring with a blush. Time skip Grimory Mansion. After training the three returned to the others, the girls only showed them what Issei showed them, but when they saw the ring that Asia had they made a commotion, and some girls wanted to tear the ring out of the blonde's hand. Time skip one week. This week, Issei only trained with the boys, making them improve in some things. He also met Serzich's son, a boy named Milikas, who seemed like a normal boy, but in reality he was a pervert who loved big breasts. That only made him laugh a little. Issei and began to like the boy until he called him Issei Anasama. He also got to know Rhea's parents a little better, and for some reason he felt calm and at peace when Rhea's mother hugged and pampered him like a child. Now we see some girls trying on different dresses while Issei just watched them with disinterest. Issei. And why did they need me? Rhea's. So that you don't help choose dresses for the banquet we will have tomorrow. Azara. Yes and you also need a suit looking at the albino. Issei. I'll take care of that, I don't need your help with disinterest in that banquet. Time skip banquet, it was a very formal celebration, many important people and clans were there and of course the mass and the Gremory and Citri clans. Zenovia. Hello Arena. Arena. Hello Zenovia hugging her friend. Rias. It's good to see you Sona seeing her friend. Sona. Maybe Rias returning the greeting by the way, where is Issei? Everyone realized that Issei wasn't even with them. Rias. Damn, I told him to come, he's the special guest like he couldn't finish since the door was kicked open. I say. Sorry for being late everyone saw a white-haired man in an elegant suit I couldn't find my suit with a small smile. All the girls and clan matriarchs blushed when they saw the albino boy, but then behind him came two beautiful girls with very pretty dresses. The men, upon seeing both beauties, only blushed because of how pretty they looked, but that changed to a look of hatred towards the albino when they saw how they both only took each of the boy's arms. I say. Well I'm used to these looks. Issei just walked up to the Gremory group and just asked. Issei. Well, how do I look? All. Beautiful with a massive blush. Issei. Grace, you guys look really cute too. They all blushed more when they heard the albino something. Ara, Ara but look, a toy came out of his store looking at the boy with a not at all holy look, do you want me to put you in your pretty packaging? Sona. Mom please stop saying those things. El Citri. Ara, you're not jealous, are you, daughter? with a mocking smile. Sona just blushed a lot and just ignored what her mother said. Issei. You are Sona Sen's mother? El Citri. Yes, a pleasure I was happy. Issei. It's a pleasure to meet you miss taking her hand and kissing her wrist. That only made her mother blush and she just saw Issei as if he were a piece of meat. Sona. I would really like to play with you for a while seductively touching his chest or maybe teach you a few things biting her lower lip but was stopped by a pack of girls who only took the boy by the arms. Rias. I'm sorry but he's already busy, right girls? All. Hi, El Citri. Luo what a shame but well why don't you join them daughter it seems that he she was quickly silenced by her daughter. Sona. Look mom, someone is looking for you taking her mother with a somewhat sinister look. Everything was going well at the banquet, Issei also met Razor's younger sister, Ravel Phoenix, a very pretty girl, and Issei liked her a little, but she almost always had a strange blush when she talked to him. Everything was going well, some women trying to seduce Issei, others trying to court Yu Lin, until a man approached Issei and greeted him. Hello young man, how are you doing? Issei. Very good sir and you? I would prefer to lift the girl's skirts, but I can't, by the way my name is Aden, I liked it. Issei. Like the one from Norse mythology. Aden. That's right, young man, I liked it. Issei. Nice to meet you sir, I'm Issei Hayuadu returning the greeting. Just then a very beautiful albino girl in armor appeared. Aden Sama I told him to stay close to me. Aden. Don't worry, Ross Chan, I'm just talking to the young man showing Issei. Issei, nice to meet you miss. A pleasure, I am Ross with the Valkyrie and Guardian of Aden Sama. Issei. It's a pleasure, I'm Issei Hayuadu, Miss Ross was giving her a kiss on the wrist, which made her blush, and Aden watched the scene with a smile. The three stayed for a while talking until Aden said goodbye. Aden, well young man, it was a pleasure talking to you. Issei. 
Likewise, sir. Auden. Just tell me Auden child. I say. Okay Auden. They both said goodbye, but before leaving Auden lifted a girl's skirt making her scream. I say. He is a good guy seeing how the man was leaving. In a few minutes, the mass stood on a stage and began to speak. Sirziches. Well thank you all for coming, this celebration as you already know is to consecrate absolute peace between the factions, so I want to call a special guest, Issei Hayuadu getting the boy's attention can you come and toast with us taking a cup, Issei just went up to the stage and took another glass, and he raised it, at that moment all the guests began to take out their wings, confusing the boy, Issei, whispering Serzichas, why do you make his wings, Serzichas, whispering it is a tradition to take out your wings to make a toast, Issei, but you know I don't like taking mine out. Serzichas. Just do it it will be fine calming the boy. Issei just calmed down a little and took out his wings, surprising everyone and feeling his great power. Everyone just stood still until Serzichas spoke. Serzichas. By the factions toasting. All. For the factions. Everyone only saw Issei until he put away his wings, somewhat nervous about how they saw him until a girl spoke. Girl. Excuse me Mr. Issei, but what are you? Everyone waited for the albino's response. Issei. Well nervous I am the combination of an angel and a demon, and on top of that a god surprising everyone, man. How is that possible? Issei just looked at Serzichas and him with a hating smile. Issei. Well let's say that I am the successor of the god of the bible, and the first demon king surprising everyone even more the correct term is Nephilim. Everyone is silent before this great revelation, but a woman spoke. Woman. Please hunt with me Mr. Issei determined. W-O-M-A-N-2. You're crazy, he's going to marry me. W-O-M-A-N-3. In your dreams he will marry me. Many women began to fight over Issei until two girls appeared at Issei's sides. Yui. I'm sorry ladies, but my master will only marry us arrogant, Lin. Yes, they both just hugged Issei, making everyone jealous, but they heard a weight break and saw Riaz who had hit the table hard. Riaz. I'm sorry but he is already my husband, so I won't allow some dirty women to take him away from me with a terrifying aura, Yui. And whoever told you he was yours, we have been with him much longer than you Gremory girl mocking. That only made Rias angry, but a strong dragon aura was felt in the air. Azara. He is just me only chan I won't let them take him away from me with a crimson aura. Greg. Of course, mate, fight for your man like dragons do. Asia. No Issei, the Keno. Ara, Ara I love Issei too Kun is my little cow high, and I can't let him go so easily with a sadistic smile and a blush. Kaneko. Senpai is mine I would be. Sarah and Akame. Oni-chan is ours, Yuri. Maybe his heart is broken, but I will repair it, and we will be happy as before, I promise invoking his ark, Zenovia. Issei is mine, and he will give me strong children in the future he said it would be, Arena. Issei is my childhood friend blushing and we made a promise that we would get married when we grew up, and I will never leave him. All the girls in the place including Sona, Seraphal and Ravel, started fighting to see who would stay with Issei, while everyone else could only hide and use the tables as shields. Azazel. What a great idea Serzichas, telling these nymphomaniacs that Issei is a god angry at Serzichas behind a table, Serzichas. Sorry, I thought that would be a good idea while explosions were heard behind them, Issei got tired of the commotion and just put on his battle suit and, and he increased his aura and using the shadows to catch and stop the girls he said. Issei. Only I decide who I marry or not, and I will never marry a woman who only fights over a man, as if he were a piece of meat with a cold look scaring everyone. After a while everyone calmed down and little by little the people began to leave until there was no one left. Time skip last day. Everyone was saying goodbye to the Gremory family, but a certain albino was separated from the others watching the sky until a chestnut caught his attention. Then Alana. Issei Kun, aren't you going to say goodbye? Issei. The truth is I don't feel like it's something serious. Then Alana just sat next to Issei and took her head and placed it on her breasts. Then Alana. Issei maybe it was hard that your parents abandoned you, but that doesn't mean we were looking at Issei with a tender look we are your new family, and we love you very much son with a beautiful smile. Issei, upon hearing that word, for some reason only let out some tears and just hugged the woman tightly. Issei. Thank you Snifocus and hugging the brunette woman tightly. She just welcomed the hug, while Issei only remembered the two weeks they were here. After a while Issei said goodbye to the family and kissed Venelana on the forehead, as if she were his mother, and everyone was happy that they were considered his family, and then they just said goodbye, and then went back to the world. Human. Part 9 Demon King and Reunion of Sisters. We can see our beloved Issei playing video games until a magic circle appears showing Riaz. Riaz. Issei come quickly nervous. Issei. You know that entering like that is rude, right looking at her seriously, and why do you want me to come with you? Riaz. It's not me, it's Kaneko, he went to look for his sister. Issei. What? Elsewhere forest. You can see a white-haired lowly in the middle of a forest. Kaneko. 
I know you're there Kuroka one sama, seeing how a very hexy girl with cat ears and tails comes out of the bush, Kuroka. Hello Shirin, how is my cute little sister with a smile, Hineko? What do you want, Kuroka? Nothing in particular I just wanted to take you with me launches, but she is stopped by a sort of light, Issei. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to allow that coming out of the trees next to Rias who was vomiting, Rias. How can you use those portals? Wiping his mouth, Issei. You get used to it seeing Kuroka and like I said I won't let you take Kaneko serious, Kuroka. Hello sister, I didn't think you had a boyfriend looking at Issei, and he is very handsome licking his lips. Kaneko only blushed at the comment his sister made. Issei. Tell me why you want Kaneko serious, Kaneko. Because she has the same power and essence as me with a smile, Issei understood that quickly and watched as Kaneko lowered her head. Issei. I don't care, I won't let you take her surprising Kaneko and Issei only attacked, but a spear that he already knew was placed between them, Kuroka. Biku, why are you stopping us? At that Biku appeared taking the spear from him. Biku. I don't interfere, I just help you, you alone can't beat him, he defeated Valerie. Kuroka was surprised by what was said and just smiled. Kuroka. Well this will be interesting creating smoke through a magic circle something strange. Riaz and Kaneko felt that when they breathed the smoke they became paralyzed and could not move well. Kuroka. It's useless, this smoke can paralyze any demon he said with a smile. Issei just stood still and said. Issei. Well, what a pity because I'm not just any demon from his left arm white fire decided the black smoke and the girls felt like they could move again. Kuroka was only surprised but received a blow to the stomach from Issei. Kuroka. Cough cough when you move surprised well I'll show you what I can do Kuroka created several clones of herself, Issei. Well then this will be easy Issei created her own clones made of shadows, surprising Kuroka and Biku, let's dance with a sadistic smile, elsewhere unknown place. The mask could be seen next to Auden on a table and some bodyguards. Auden. In the past Michael well they saw him looking serious, Michael. Likewise Auden saw him as somewhat nervous about something in particular, Auden. If we hadn't seen each other since oh I remember, since you evangelized my followers somewhat irritated, Roswiss. Auden Sama behaves looking at the old man, Auden. Don't worry, Ross Chan, if you continue with that attitude, you will never get a boyfriend looking at the Valkyrie, Roswiss. She only says it because I'm the one Valkyrie who doesn't have a boyfriend with a little tears, Auden. Yes, and the only one who paid attention to you at the party was that white-haired boy Sai. what a shame you couldn't advance further with him. Everything just came to Issei's mind upon hearing that, and Azazel and Serzich's could only laugh. Auden. Well I didn't call them for that reason I called them for something more important serious about the organization that attacked them when they were making peace in the human world. Everyone was surprised to hear that. Serzich's. Do you know who they are? Auden. Yes, their name is Cow's Brigade, and we believe that this Biku guy who attacked them and Valerie are in it seriously along with someone else. Ajuka. And that's it. Auden. Well I didn't finish because a giant dog appeared breaking the wall, Roswiss. Fenner serious and drawing the sword from him, Auden. No, it's just one of his young sons. The wolf attacked everyone, but the mask combined their attacks and quickly killed the wolf. Seraphal. Who could have done this seeing the wolf and around him who had already slaughtered the guards and some were mutilated by the wolf, Auden. One of my sons Loki, he does not agree with peace and he wants to destroy me and his brother. Azazel. Looks like we'll need the boy referring to Issei, with our protagonist, Issei was in front of a wounded Kuroka. Kuroka. What are you? With several cuts all over his body and he looks like a rose, Issei. What a pity that idiot Biku didn't tell you appearing next to the Niko and hitting her, sending her flying against a tree I am the Shinigami with a dead look that terrified her. Biku was only fighting Riaz and an Issei clone, but he saw how Kuroka was easily defeated and reacted in time to save hers. Biku. I told you that you couldn't handle him looking at him seriously he surpasses us. Kuroka just clicked her tongue and resigned herself to escape. Kuroka. We will meet again while she was carried by Biku like a sack of potatoes and she just stuck her tongue out like a child. They just disappeared into a black portal without a trace. Issei just calmed down and sighed and then went to both women. Issei. Are you okay? Riaz. Yes, he barely touched me but seeing Kaneko who had her head down. Issei. Kaneko, are you a Nekamata? I would be. Kaneko just winced and let out a few tears, but then he felt a warmth that he had never felt before, and it was Issei hugging Kaneko. Issei. Don't worry, you can tell me later, but you don't have to start crying wiping away her tears after all you are the strongest girl I know with a smile calming the lowly. She just hugged him tightly, and she could only cry into her chest. I'm skip a cult club. The entire entourage could be seen next to the Citri, while Riaz told everyone what happened, and they saw Kaneko sitting on Issei's lap like a child. Issei. Well Kaneko, why didn't you tell us that you are a Nekamata? Kaneko. I just don't like it because of something in my past sad. Azara. And that's it. Kaneko. 
well before I met but you, me and my sister were someone else's servants, but looking at the ground one day Kuroka killed our master, and we just ran and escaped crying, I don't know why but was stopped and hugged by Issei, Issei. Don't worry, Kaneko, I think you didn't analyze the situation well at that moment surprising the Nico, Kaneko. Huh. Issei. You will see a person kills for only three reasons, greed, hatred, or love. In this case to protect you, I think he killed your previous master because he wanted to protect you. People only analyzed what the albino said and they were right, it could only be those three options. Pineko only cried knowing that her sister did not kill her master for pleasure or something else. They say. Come on Kaneko, don't cry wiping away her tears come on, let us see that tail and cute ears of yours with a small smile. Kaneko just said what Issei said, and everyone could see Kaneko with cat ears and tail, that made her look cuter and made her blush. Kaneko. Senpai thank you very much hugging him, Issei. Well you were with me to support me and encourage me, even though I told you more than once not to do it, and well, I think you are in a good way to return the favor stroking the loli's head. Hineko couldn't hold back anymore and just threw herself at Issei and kissed him on her lips, surprising all of her and making them jealous. Bizarre. K Kaneko, what the hell do you think you're doing angry and blushing? Hineko. I already decided breaking away from the kiss empai, no, Issei-kun, and I will have kittens in the future, because I won't let anyone take it away from me kissing Issei again who could only reciprocate the kiss. At that she was separated from Issei by Yui and Lin who took her human forms. Yui. Okay cat, but you will have to line up since we are in first place to take the master's virginity and have his children. Lin. Yes well she took Kaneko from her arms, separating her from Issei. After that scene there was a small fight between all the girls who were only fighting to decide who would be the one to take the albino's virginity, and one Saji just cursed the boy. Time skip next day. We can see Issei sleeping on the couch at the occult club, while the other girls around her were just looking for a way not to attack the boy and gape him in every possible way, but a certain letter brought a retreat out of that thought. There is. Damn when she's going to stop angry. Akeno. What's wrong but you? Seeing what she had in her hands are they are love letters, but are they for Asia? Everyone saw the blonde except Issei who was sleeping. Asia? He? For me? Confused. Rias? Yes, they are love letters, invitations to events and parties for Asia from Diodora Astareth. By saying that, Issei's curiosity was aroused and he stood up. Issei? Wow Asia has an admirer. Rias? Well, you can call it that way, although it's more like a reunion. Issei? A reunion? Asia? You see before, they had expelled me for using my powers to heal a demon, and well, it seems he saw me at the party. Issei. So what, are you interested? Asia. No well, not that way, I already love someone looking askance at Issei, and I don't want to separate from him getting up and hugging Issei. Issei only hugged back although he innocently wondered who that person was. Issei. Well, can't you just tell him to buck off? There he is. I already did it a couple of times, but he doesn't give up, and he even challenged us to a rating game, and in a few days we will have to fight against him it would be. Asia. Issei-san, you will help us right with a cute face. Issei. I really don't want to Asia just lowered her head, and Issei couldn't help but feel bad just kidding, of course I'll help you. Asia. Good hugging Issei tighter and making some girls jealous. Time skip. A few days had passed and the sports festival was also underway, in which Issei had to be Asia's partner to do the three-legged race. They even trained for that day at Asia's request, and Issei became more fond of the blonde. Dot. The cult club. We can see all the boys serious until a magic circle appeared and showed a blue-haired boy. Rias. Diodora Astareth serious. Diodora. Hello Rias-san. Asia only held Issei's arm tightly, and Diodora just seeing him became jealous of that scene. Diodora. Well, let's get straight to the point, I want to exchange pieces, one bishop for another bishop. Asper. No I didn't want to leave Rias on Asama's side scared. Rias. Don't worry Gasper is not coming for you, he is coming for you it would be. The boy only showed them photos of his bishops, but Rias rejected them all. Rias. I'm sorry but I won't give you Asia, she is an essential part of my entourage, and I also consider her a little sister, and I won't give her to you serious and determined in her words. Idora. What a shame but I won't give up so easily taking the blonde's hand to kiss her wrist, but she let go and just hugged Issei tighter. Idora. Are you that Nephilim? Looking seriously at Issei. Issei. Yes why? Idora. For nothing turning around after our rating game I will marry Asia, I hope you don't take it the wrong way with an arrogant smile. Issei. I don't care who you are, but I won't let Asia marry someone she doesn't want serious. That alone made Asia blush, and Diodora just clicked her tongue and disappeared in a magic circle. Asia. Thank you Issei San blushing. Issei. Don't worry Asia stroking her head, I won't let them take you serious and had a bad feeling about Diodora. Time skip next day. The boys were fine and calm, although those from the club only trained a little for the rating game. We can see Issei walking through the hallways, but he saw something that bothered him. 
delinquent one. Come on, darling, go out and play with me for a while, while she had Sona cornered. Sona. Leave me alone, you dirty animal, do you want to get punished? Dot 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 Tubaki. Sona saw how her queen was also cornered by two other criminals. But she came out of her thoughts when she felt how they touched her breasts. Sona. You idiot slapping him. B-E-L-I-N-Q-U-E-N-T-1. Bitch angry now you'll see about to hit him, but is stopped by a say. A say. One thing I hate is when an idiot tries to hit a pretty girl hitting her heart in the face. B-E-L-I-N-Q-U-E-N-T-2. You idiot you will see. The criminal only saw a blow that came from Issa, and when he received it, he broke his nose and knocked him out. B-E-L-I-N-Q-U-E-N-T-3. You'll see. B-E-L-I-N-Q-U-E-N-T-1. Getting up take this. They both launched themselves, but Issa only dodged them and easily knocked them out, while those watching the fight were surprised. Issa. Are you okay president? The girl only saw how her blueprints looked at her with a worried face for her, and she blushed in the process. Sona. Why yes, thank you very much Haidu san blushing and nervous, Tsubaki. Yes, thank you very much Haidu kun with a small blush, and the girl just gave him a kiss on the cheek that surprised to say, and made Sona jealous take that as a small thank you for saving me with a smile, Sona. Yes, thank you also giving him a kiss will take care of them, you can leave blushing, to say. Well if you have other problems with them just tell me crying, Tsubaki. I know why he likes Kaichu, he is a gentleman looking at the boy with a smile as he goes, Sona. Yes while watching her prince charming leave well now we have to take care of these idiots. Time skip rating game. The boys were just preparing their things for the rating game. And a magic circle appeared and they were transported to a rocky area with a sanctuary in the chasm. Zenovia. We're here. Rias. Yes, let's go everyone obeyed their butchu's order, but Issei had a bad feeling. The boys walked a little, but suddenly a lot of magic circles came out making many demons appear and then they could only hear Asia's scream that some demons had trapped her. Idora. I told you, I'm not going to leave you my dear Asia, you disgusting hybrid addressing Issei, Issei. Bastard leaves Asia angry, Idora. I'm sorry but Asia is mine, but I'll let you watch the show, I'll be waiting for you at the sanctuary, but hurry up since I get bored very easily ha 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 disappearing with Asia. Issei just exploded with anger and covered Yui with fire of destruction, and with one slash, cut all the demons around in half, but more demons appeared, and each time it was more and more. There he is. There are too many things we do Kiaya at one point her skirt was lifted by an old one-eyed man. Auden. Yes, it's a good ass, you have good taste boy. Issei. Auden. Rias. What is Auden Sama doing here? Auden. I came here since we discovered that Diodora Astareth made agreements with Cows Brigate, in addition to seeing the power of the new god of the world, don't worry, I will stop them, you go after that idiot and his friend. Issei. Thanks old man. Everyone advanced and Auden just took out a staff and hit the ground with it, making several demons disappear. Auden. Let's see what those disgusting demons have with a smile, but the rest. When the others arrived at the door of the sanctuary they could see Azazel in the background in the middle of a fight. There he is. Azazel getting the Mayu's attention. Azazel. Guys, I'm glad you're fine. They say. Shut up you used us as bait to decent mask the asshole Diodora, now he has Asia. Azazel. But wasn't Auden with you? There he is. Yes, but I'm late. Azazel. Sigh that degenerate old one-eyed man, well you guys will have to take care of him, and Issei calling the albino's attention, I know that in the previous raiding game you didn't use all your power, well now I hope to see the power of a Nephilim with a smile, Issei. Thanks Raven, come on guys. All. Hi. Upon entering the sanctuary, the boys could see many guys with hoods, and Diodora's voice could be heard in the background. Diodora. Welcome, don't expect them to arrive so quickly, but it doesn't matter, it's time for the game to start. Azara. The game. There he is. Your actions towards us have taken away your right to a rating game it would be. Iodora. That's why they will participate in a very different game, and if they lose, Asia will be mine. They say. I don't have time for this shit angry. They say only launched another slash with fire that destroyed everything in his path, killing the hooded men and destroying other parts of the building. The boys only advanced, and upon entering the last room they saw a familiar person, and it was Freed who transformed into a chimera dot. They say. Burn in the flames of eternal destruction, saying that he just ran up to the chimera and stuck his sword into its head and in a sweep of black fire, he incinerated the beast in an instant. They just kept moving until they entered the throne room where they saw Asia hanging in chains and Diodora sitting on a thunderbolt. Diodora. They arrived, what a joy I was already starting to get bored with a smile, Rias. Diodora hand us over to Asia and you will have compassion it would be, Diodora. 
what a good joke Remory, but my hobby is to collect holy girls, make them fall in love with them, and then corrupt them, haha <laughs> I can't wait until that comes, and I hope she's a virgin, I don't want anything to be touched by that dirty hybrid, well maybe I'm just doing it for pleasure ha 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 ha. Rias. Rias. If I finish it it would be. Issei didn't wait and in a blink he just appeared in front of Diodora and Patio, his face throwing him into the air, and Issei just covered Lin in white fire and cut off his arm easily. Diodora. Ai no, this is not possible while holding his missing arm office gave me the power of him he must not he fell silent as he felt like a stake made of shadows coming out of his own shadow dot went through the stomach. Diodora. Kuwag no, you are not a normal person. Damn monster spitting blood. The blue net tried to cover himself with a magical shield, but Issei quickly destroyed it and cut off Diodora's leg. Diodora. AI in my leg too I will not be defeated by a dirty hybrid, you were just a he was silenced by a kick in the face from Issei. Issei. You talk a lot, idiot. Diodora was alone on the ground bleeding, and Issei climbed on top of him and began to hit him mercilessly until the blue-haired boy only asked for mercy. Diodora. Wait please, if you kill me you will also kill the girl all full of blows. Issei. What do you mean serious? Diodora. It has a special seal that a certain long Inus created if you kill me she will die too. Issei. Well let's see what that seal can do Issei approached the seal and touched it with his hand covered in black fire and it is only destroyed upon contact. Issei. There you have your sea idiot while she cut her chains and took Asia as a princess and took her to the others. The girls could only hug the blonde. Zenovia. Asia crying like a little girl. Asia. Zenovia but you are here semi-unconscious. Rias. Issei saved you Asia, you are now safe happy to see her friend. Azara. Nice to see you again Asia Chan happy. Rias. You don't even need to tell me like that after all, you're like my little sister releasing some tears. Asia. Rias on Asama cheerful. Asper. Asia Chan was very worried about you hugging the blonde, you. Yes all but Issei saved you. Asia. I always knew you would rescue me Issei sent touching Issei's face. Issei. I will do it a thousand times if necessary with a smile. Asia. Issei sand but he was disappearing in a yellow light. Everyone. Asia. The man suddenly appeared in a magic circle. You disappoint me Astereth. Rias. Who are you? Do greetings younger sister of the false Mao. I am Shalba Belzebub, descendant of the few things that deserve the title of Mao. Everyone was looking at the man, but Issei was still kneeling on the ground where Asia was until he spoke. Issei. I can't feel Asia's life force using her angel powers to find Asia what did you do to her? Shalba. The mate was a nuisance without mincing her words. Rias. I won't forgive you for killing Asia. Zenovia. Damn furious and crying. Iadora. Shalba help me dying if we join forces. Shalba. Shut up idiot throwing lightning killing Diadora you don't deserve my help, you're very pathetic. But an albino was still in socks on the floor. Say, It can't be it's a lie, Asia we have to do the race please come out releasing some tears. Rias. Issei hugging the boy. Issei just stood up and walked towards Shalba. Issei. I will kill you, I will liquidate you for killing Asia. Shalba. Do you think I'm like Diodora, I do know how to take advantage of Office's powers. Issei only began to release fire and energy of destruction throughout her body and abruptly removed Lin from her back, making her take her human form. Lin. Falling on the ground master, please control worried. Yui. It's useless Lin just protects others. Shalba. What is this power? The energy began to disintegrate the palace, destroying a large part of it. I am the one who will dominate hell. The Joho good boy proves that no one messes with a king of demons, and even less with his women. The voice of an older man could be heard who was apparently the former king of demons. I will destroy my enemies with my fire, and I will destroy those who stand in my way with my strength. You know what to do child now destroys it. I destroy the light and I laugh at happiness. It's time, don't stop. I am the god of destruction the new king of demons, and you will burn in my eternal flames, and you will suffer for eternity. At the end of the sentence the entire castle was consumed by black flames, and Lin could only cover the others with a shield of white light and flame. When the boys removed the shield they could feel a tremendous power that everyone felt, the power was tremendous, and they could barely breathe because of the tremendous price. The boys were just terrified, and they could see Issei in black armor, and his wings were now completely black, and Yui had changed shape. Shalba. W what the hell are you? Frightened by the strong power it emitted. The knight now only walked towards Shalba, and he responded by launching an attack that disintegrated when he touched the armor. Hineko. Is that Issei? Scared. Lin. No, he is the knight of destruction looking at Issei. Rias. What? What happened? Lin. Master succumbed to anger and transformed into his knight king of demons mode, he now has the power to destroy the entire world if he puts his mind to it. Azara. We have to stop him, we can't let Oni-chan destroy the world. Akeno, Azara, after destroying Shalba, we are not sure that he will calm down later, we have to leave. Akame and Sarah. 
we don't have to help him, but Issei. Issei was just walking towards Shalva, and he was terrified. Shalva. Take this come he said, so that a large magic circle would appear and attack Issei, but the attack did not even scratch his armor impossible. Issei just stood in front of Shalva, and a dome of shadows covered them both. But the rest. After a few minutes Aden and Azazel arrived at the scene. Aden. This power totally surpasses me seeing the dome is it the boys. Azazel. Yes it seems like it's from Issei's serious dam, and before I thought it had some limit. You. Lin, what can we do to make Issei stop? Lin. Maybe he calms down because of something that is important in his life or something that calms him down, but he doubted it, since he is like this because of Asia's death. Valerie. Well I think I have the solution appearing on a portal. All. Valerie. Azara. What are you doing here? Valerie. I just came to give you this showing Arthur that he gave them Asia in his arms. Everyone. Asia. Everyone started hugging the girl, and the blonde just woke up. Asia. Guys what happened? Zenobia. Asia crying and hugging her. You. I thought we could stop him now, but why are you doing this? Valerie. The entire supernatural world can feel that power, and we don't want it to destroy the world. Azara. Thank you Valerie. Valerie. Just stop it, I don't want my future husband to destroy me and the world surprising everyone. Rias. Sorry what? Valerie. Didn't I tell you? I decided that he will give me strong children, and also when we clashed fists and swords in that combat, I felt my body getting hotter and hotter, and then I discovered that it was love, and now I want him to be my husband with a smile, Kiba. I don't think it's love. But they say, the dome only made up its mind, and everyone could see how Shalba was crying and vomiting blood and was missing an arm. Shalba. No no more please scared and trying to escape, but the gentleman just stepped on his back, breaking his jealousy Aya. Then they could hear a demonic voice that terrified everyone. They say, you had no sympathy with Asia, and now you will burn in the fire of destruction for all eternity. Shalba just tried to crawl and escape from her, but Issei tore off her leg and lit her hand with black flames, and they shot towards Shalba. Shalba I I I I I only Shalba's cry of suffering could be heard before being incinerated, and music, everyone was nervous about the move they would try to make, but Issei's voice took them out of his mind. Issei. This world must be reduced to nothing, there must be nothing left to say gave a loud shout, and a pillar of darkness rose as he destroyed everything in his path. Lin. You have to go now before it's too late. Rias. Asia touches you, you are the only one who can calm him down. Asia. If I have to save Issei and determined. The blonde took out her wings and began to approach Issei, but the flames would not let her, but the ring that Issei gave her began to shine and make a white barrier that covered Asia so she could get closer. Asia. Issei Sen I know you're there, please stop trying to get closer and make the boy react, but he didn't react please Issei San, you're not like that, you're cute, selfless in some things, but you protect the ones you love, please. Taking Issei's helmet you are the boy I like, I love him Issei San. The girl just kissed Issei, and the helmet was decided next to the armor and the pillar of darkness, and everyone could see how Issei had his eyes open, while he was kissed by Asia and the boy, only when he felt the kiss and saw the blonde let out a tears and reciprocates the kiss. Everyone else only calmed down when they saw that everything was over, but some felt jealous of seeing the blonde kiss Issei. You. Curse we are saved from breathing normally, Lin. Master Lin jumped to the place where Issei was and Yui took her human form, Yui. Woo fooling on the ground tired I'm not used to that transformation master. Issei only continued kissing Asia, he felt that if he separated from her she would disappear again. Yui. Okay master, I think that's enough jealous, Lin. Yes, jealous. Both girls just pulled them apart, and Asia had a goofy smile along with a blush. All. Issei Oni Chan, brother Issei Kun. Everyone just hugged, and the girls only hugged Albino. Issei. What happened? You. You got carried away with anger and almost destroyed the world. Issei. Sorry, just. Kiba. Don't worry, it was for a good cause, and we're not dead, so you can calm down with a smile. Yui. Yes, love, but we have to train more so that doesn't happen again scolding Issei, but I'm glad you're okay, love kissing Issei, Lin. I love too kissing Issei, Rias. Hey he is my husband, leave him taking Issei and kissing him come with a smile, Izara. Aya no Oni-chan is mine she couldn't take it anymore and kissed Issei. All the girls began to fight and kiss our protagonist, including Yuri, well Kiba, Yu and Gasper laughed and Azazel only cursed Issei for his luck, and Aden had a thumbs up in approval. Valerie. Yes, it's good that you're fine looking at Issei and drawing attention, Issei. Valerie, thank you very much indeed. Valerie. You don't have to thank, just think about it and give me strong children with a smile, Issei. I'm sorry but I will only have children with the women I love. Valerie. Well then I'll have to make you fall in love with a smile, it's beautiful, don't you think? Issei. And this one? Valerie. Office. Rias. Wait, Office, the one who gave Diodora and Shalba the powers. Office. Hello. Issei. What are you doing here? Office. 
just seeing the landscape. As he said that, a large portal opened showing a gigantic red dragon. Ew. What is that? Office. It is the dragon of the apocalypse, the great red dragon of dragons, and one day I will be in her place pointing her finger at the dragon. Valerie. Well we're leaving, goodbye Grimmery Entourage and goodbye Issei Haidu holding Issei's shirt tightly and kissing him, I assure you that one day I will fall in love with you with a smile, Iku. Well you're not the only one who loves Issei now haha it seems like our days are going to get more fun. The office disappeared with Valerie into a portal, but not before saying a few small words to Issei. The office. Your boy pointing to Issei someday I want to face you I hope you're not satisfied, and maybe we'll dance until the other can't disappearing, Greg. Hahaha <laughs> it seems that I marked you boy, Azara. Marco. Greg. For dragons, dancing only means two things, Rias. And that is it, Greg. Fight to the death or, Issei. Or, Greg. Have hex. That only surprised everyone even more, Azara. Issei, there is no way I will let you dance with her holding Issei by the neck, Issei. Azara, you're suffocating me. Rias well it's time to go home I'm very tired and I would like to sleep for a while looking flirtatiously at Issei. Auden. Well, let's go opening a door in which everyone entered. Issei just looked at the great sky dragon for a moment and then smiled and entered the portal, disappearing. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.